I would challenge you to test those assumptions and analyze the weakness of your conclusions. In my letters I have sent many arguments that already show the weakness of your faith in atheism. To believe in God the observation of this universe and the living things is enough. Every branch of science denies atheism. Still you persist that you are not a created being. If there is God he is the creator of this universe and as he has made us intelligent being, he must have contacted us. So his description of the purpose of creation of man will be the same for every generation of people in the world. He should contact us to give us the message and his guidance. Quran chapter 4 verse 163 Lo, we inspire thee as we inspired Noah and the prophets after him, as we inspired Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes and Jesus and Job and Jonah and Aaron and Solomon and as we imparted unto David the Psalms and messengers we have mentioned unto thee before and messengers we have not mentioned unto thee and Allah spake directly unto Moses messengers of good cheer and of warning in order that mankind might have no argument against Allah after the messengers Allah was ever mighty wise. Verily God has spoken the truth. I studied the scriptures alongside with the Quran and I found that all scriptures revealed to people do describe about God. Judgment Day. He raft her with reward and punishment. Hell and paradise. Angels in some form. Devil. Prophets. The concept about destiny and about right and wrong are also the same in most religion. This is because God sent guidance to every nation of mankind. There are some who deny these revelations and others who accept. Those who want guidance from God will get the guidance. Those who want to stay stray will keep misleading themselves. Isn't it enough that the last revelation describes many verses which can only be explained with the discovery of modern sciences?